Welcome to Kokkola. This is a city that has been shaped by the sea for over 400 years. Tons of tar has been shipped across the sea, and new ideas and achievements in the arts and sciences have been brought back home. There has always been an awareness in Kokkola that openness towards others is a prerequisite for development. We develop our expertise, infrastructure, and service provisions in a responsible way and by looking ahead into the future. Kokkola is very important in, in the battery business. Our role is very significant from the global scale. And we have also very long traditions here in Kokkola for battery chemicals production. It has started already uh, tens of years ago with the production of the metal sulfates, which are used as a raw material in battery production. And of course, we have now a very high potential for the lithium and lithium pro precursor production also in, in our industrial area. If we compare, for example, in the, in the global scale, we have the, one of the biggest refineries for cobalt in, in, in Kokkola, and also the industrial cluster is the second uh, biggest in, industrial cluster in, in the Europe level, and, and the biggest one in the Nordic countries. Today uh, we have uh, 17 companies uh, that are doing production there and they are owned by global companies. And this means that the industrial park has to be competitive in, in the commodities, production, services, uh, facilities and, and so on. So for, for the battery chemicals production at Coco Industrial Park, we have a few big companies. Uh, Caliber, of course, a new upcomer doing their lithium production investments there at the moment. Yumicor also producing uh, precursor materials at the industrial park already today. And then we have Yervois, who is in, in the cobalt products field. Then we have many subcontractors also, like Finewell, for example, they are doing uh, a lot of construction work for a few battery factories here in Europe. And of course, we have uh, a lot of students here around that are studying uh, battery chemistry or chemistry in, in general that can be used as workforce here and, and then the cooperation between companies, city and, and university here is, is unique. Here in Kokkola we have done an intensive work for the development of our educational systems. So basically we have already quite nice uh, educational systems so that you can study from the from the process engineering and, and in the chemical laboratory work and, and you can even study up to be a doctor in, in the relevant fields. Battery chemicals are very uh, important topic for our industrial activities in which we use uh, um, nickel cobalt, manganese for example in the preparation of the precursors and, and cathode active materials but of course we have also high potential for the lithium production in the, in the area and all these are, are issues what we are also studying in our research group. Sustainability is a key issue for battery development, so that is also one of the driving force in our scientific research. How to improve the battery uh, value chain, how to improve the sustainability. I think that that would be also like a, one of the issues for the competition in, in Finland compared to other countries, that we can confirm that our value chains are sustainable from the beginning, from the mining up to the precursor and active uh, electrode material production. Looking into the future, of course, we are developing uh, Kokkola South, uh, a new area uh, some 10 kilometers away from Kokkola Industrial Park that can use the synergies out of, out of Kokkola Industrial Park also. Some of the infrastructure that we already have at Kokkola Industrial Park and then also uh, the synergies between in-services can be used and linked there. 
and of course like Kokkola Industrial Park and, and the new site can use uh, Port of Kokkola, Finland's third biggest general port that serves you 365 days a year. And then we also have our airport, which is then very close to the new site and, and close to Kokkola with daily connections to Helsinki. The new location can also be a potential place for, for example, for cell manufacturing or then for other different industrial activities that are linked to battery, battery industry. I would also like to see in the short term some new investments in our industrial area. Maybe we have a potential and the closest potential is of course the opening of the mining activities of the lithium and, and related precursor production for lithium hydroxide. But I see also that we have a good potential for, for energy storage materials. Maybe towards the cathode active material production in the industrial scale. Kyllä tämä teollinen ympäristö tässä Kokkolassa on ihan ensiarvoisen tärkeää, että pystytään harjoittamaan meidän toimintaa. Monet raaka-aineet tulee naapureilta tästä. Ja kyllä Kipin alueella on hyvä olla teollisena toimijana ja tuota, alueella on valmista infraa, Meillä on tuota yhdistys, jossa toimitaan, jaetaan parhaita käytäntöjä niin turvallisuuteen kuin ympäristöönkin liittyen. Ja kyllä melkein jokaisessa asiassa on myös vastuullisuus mukana. We have also very good potential for, for the collaboration in, in research and in industrial activities between, for example, Finland and Sweden because uh, that what happens now in Sweden, there are battery companies built up and battery production is ongoing. So of course that, that uh, offers a lot of new potential and opportunities to, to Kokkola area as well. The sea reminds us that anything is possible when you try hard enough and look for new perspectives and cooperation. Together, we will take steps of growth, as well as great leaps towards a more responsible future. Kokola. We have a broader horizon.